Hi beauties. I am going to demonstrate how I create glitter mixes um, using gel. Um, so this is going to be one all about gel. How I make, you can make your own glitter mix or if you um, how to place the glitters on the nails. I don't have any nails on right now. Um, so let's get started. Let me go ahead and adjust this camera here so you can see my little tile plate here so you, you can just use a little tile plate like such and I use if I'm going to use it to sculpt my nail um, like with the sculpting form and it's going to be my base then I am going to use a sculpture gel To make my mix with this is um, the young nails um, precision gel applicator you can use this um, or you can use the sculpt that they have um, in a bottle or any brand that you want to use but if you are going to use it to build your nail out you want to well at least i like using a sculpture gel if this is going to be something that you're putting on top of a nail, whether it be an already placed tip or an already sculpted out nail, then I like to use Build. Um, I have found that mixing glitters with concealers, like a, for example, Concealer Peach, um, Concealer Pink, for some reason, I if you do fine glitters, it's okay. But the chunkier glitters, they can take a little bit longer to set. So for me, using a build works really nicely. And once again, build would be for if you already have a tip in place, whether it be a, you know, a glue on tip or a tip that you've sculpted with your form and now you want to lay it on top. Um, but for a structure nail, and that's what I'm going to be doing. So. I'm just going to use this, which is a sculpture gel in a bottle. Like I said, you can use whatever gel you want, would like to use. I just am obsessed with these in a bottle. It's really nice because it totally eliminates the brush, but that's a whole nother video. So let me make sure you can see okay. Let me adjust this light. I hope you all have had an amazing weekend. It's almost time for the work week to start for so many. There we go. I think that's better. Okay, so here's my tile. And I'm simply just going to squeeze, um, depending on how many nails you're going to do, I'll just do as if I'm going to do uh, two or three with my glitter mix and I'm simply just squeezing this on to my tile there and the fun thing about glitter mixes is you can get really creative with it and you're pretty much creating your own even though you're using glitters you already have you're creating your own custom mix so this that's to me what makes it so much fun so first let's lay down I think I'm gonna go with a, a rose gold I want the rose gold to stand out this is rose gold by glitter planet it is a stunning stunning rose gold look at all that I mean, this would look beautiful just by itself, which I've done sets with just this. But I really wanted to demonstrate on how to make your own glitter mixes. And I'm just going to take this, and I have a little scooper like this, but you could just sprinkle it on if you want. I just like using this here because I'm a little clumsy, and I'll probably end up dumping the whole bottle on. And I am just generously coating, covering that whole gel that I put down on this tile. Now you could mix it up and go with that, um, but we wanna make this a little custom. 
you know, spice it up a little bit, make it pop. I am obsessed too with diamond dust. Oh my goodness, I love this stuff. This is by Young Nails in their Imagination Art. It is stunning. You, there's so many things you can do with this. Look at all that sparkle. I am just going to take a little scoop of this and put it right on top of there. Completely covering the layer I did of the rose gold. Now with the heavier Mylar glitters, you don't want to go too much with it. Um, because you want it to be able to set right when you stick it in the lamp. Let's also go with another, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. This is by Glitter Planet. This is Princess. This to me is a little bit more, I don't want to say chunkier. It has a little bit more pinks in there. It's very similar to Diamond Dust. I don't know if you can see all that sparkle. This is Princess and it's by Glitter Planet. You can go with whatever colors that you want to go with. Like I said, I want rose gold to kind of be my, my main um, color. I want that one to stand out a bit. And what else, what else can we put in here? You know what, for fun, I haven't done this before, but let's put a little of the Glitter Planet Innocent in with this. I like to do colors that, um, that mesh well with whatever, you know, you want the colors to all kind of blend in so they flow nicely together. This is Temptation and it's by Glitter Planet. Look at that. Now I'm not gonna put too much of this in because like I said, I want it to be more of the rose gold. But Temptation, um, Glitter Planet carries another really beautiful color called Ian and Frank. Those look amazing on top of rose gold or I mean they, they can go really good on top of any gold maroon um, color like such so this is what we have right now we can keep on going you know what let's go ahead and put one more color on here where is rock star I'm gonna put a little rock star in here this is by young nails in their imagination Look at that. It's almost like princess, but on steroids. <laughs> so let's just put a little sprinkle of this in there so we can get a little. We want this color to look gorgeous. All right, so now I'm going to get my spatula. Now this is how, like I said, if I want to do a glitter mix that I'm going to, um, you know, put on the nail, um, I'm gonna build with this nail. I'm gonna use a form with this. But you can, there's other ways as well, and that is where you place the glitter exactly where you want it to go on your nail. This would be more like if you're doing like an ombre nail. And all I'm taking doing is I'm mixing this up. I'm just kind of smashing it gently all together. I mean, look how stunning that is. You wanna make sure you get all your glitters mixed in there. And I've said this on another video, but I mean, it's really nice so, you know, your client can be like, my nail tech created this just for me. You can't buy this anywhere. Or even on yourself, if you're doing, you know, stuff on yourself as well, like, you know, oh my gosh, where did you get that? gel glitter color you're like um i made it i mixed it made it myself it's custom look how stunning that is It is absolutely beautiful. Let me show you that, babes. Let me show you. Let me put this all together here. 
Now I used the builder in the precision gel applicator, so I'm gonna use my brush to apply this to my nail. But look how stunning that is. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and sculpt my nail with this, and then I will be back to show you um, the other way that I apply glitter to gel nails. But once again, look how stunning that is. It is gorgeous. All right, babes, I will be back. Okay, beauty, so off camera, I sculpted these out. I haven't filed them or shaped them or anything. But look how stunning that looks. And I just sculpted it out. I want my pinky to match my index finger here. So all I did was build it out with um, our little mix we have here. And I'm going to about a four. And when I do um, a glitter tip like this and I'm leaving the base clear, even though I know I'm gonna put some pretty Savarsky crystals on there, I do like coming in with a pink or a peach. Um, you know, I don't, I mean, I, I just think it looks pretty. So let's use, we'll use the concealer pink. And this is the Young Nails applicator, precision applicator in a bottle. And all I'm going to do, I mean, I could take this off right now, but I'm actually going to leave it on. Um, I want to show you a little trick. Well, not a trick, but something I like to do. And these forms right here, Beauties, if you don't have them, these are amazing forms. These are the Xfinity forms from Glitter Planet. These forms are just beautiful. They don't bend, they hold their shape, and they stay on until you take them off. So all I'm, I'm gonna try to do this on camera. All I'm doing is going in here, and I'm gonna do this where you can see. And I'm just coming in and Look how easy this is with this applicator, precision applicator. This is gel in a tube. And this is a concealer pink. And like I said, beauty, sorry, I'm trying to do this and make it to where you can see it in the camera too, so. Feel a little awkward here. Let's get this out the way. And let me just make sure I clean off this brush. Make sure I get in these corners with it. Like I said, it's I'm trying to do it. I was trying to do it to where you could see it in the camera, so I missed a little corner here. So I'm just going on in really gently with my brush to push that product all the way into the corners, and that's how it looks. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the lamp. But have fun with it. You could do marble looks with these glitter mixes. Um, I mean, there's just so many things that you can do and a beautiful glitters you can create. These are the Xfinity forms by Glitter Planet that I am absolutely in love with. Infinity, I keep saying Xfinity. Xfinity is a cable service. The Infinity Forms from Glitter Planet, these are amazing. And if you don't do many long sets, um, if you don't do any long sets, they have another very similar to this one. It's just, um, it's kind of like this piece right here isn't on there, and I'm not sure what the name of them are called, but they are on the Glitter Planet's website. These forms are amazing. I'm just in love with them. I can't say enough good things about these forms. All right, so I had that in my lamp. And then what I like to do, I am going to go ahead with my build here. And that's what it looks like right now. See how stunning that is? Like I said, all these I haven't, shape them or file them or anything yet. 
And all these are, um, I did them to a four on my sculpting form. But look how pretty that mix is. So pretty. And I'm just going to get some of my build here. And we want to go over this. top because we want you want it to be when you file your you know file shape and buff your tip out you don't want to buff and file all that beautiful glitter mix shine away so we're just gonna cover it up with a little build plus going over with build when you're sculpting nails um, any little cracks little areas you may have missed when you go over it with the build, it's going to catch it. So like if you have a little corner you missed, even if I was not doing this glitter mix, I always go over um, long set, short sets, doesn't make a difference. I always go over it with a little build. I mean, every now and then you never know when you're doing a set. There could be just a little, gel's kind of tricky because it's kind of, Mm, I don't want to say it's hard to see, but it kind of is when you're working with the clears, when it's on a form to see like what area, if, if you miss the little area, and you always want your structure to be just right. See how pretty that is? Now we're going to pop this in our lamp. I'm gonna put it in there for 60 seconds. I know some do 30, but with this, I'm gonna go ahead and go in for, for, for 60 seconds. So I got a lot of stuff going on here. Got some beautiful glitters. Um, and we're going pretty long. And if your structure is right, your tips, I don't care. Um, I, I like wearing mine long. So I go to fours, four and a half, fives, and my nails, I'm not going to say I've never had a nail break, but it's very rare that I have a nail break. Um, so, and it doesn't have to be real thick. It's just getting your apex right, your structure right. Um, so it all balances out to a beautiful, beautiful nail. Now you can do a nice apex without having a super thick nail either. Um, it's all on just how you shape and when you go into file. But that's not what this is about. This is about the glitter mixes. I'm always all over the place. So look how beautiful that is. Um, I like to pinch. I pinch with my acrylics. And yes, I do pinch with the gels. And I firmly, I really, I know it. you're not going to get any kind of C-curve or anything with it. But I do pinch. And I don't know if you notice either, beauties. But see how this form is on my nail? I have it pinched very thin. Let's pull this little beauty off here. And there you go. You got a beautiful nail. Now see there's little areas there that may look like I have missed it. Well, I have, but it's okay. I'm going to show you a little trick. See that little area there? Where it's clear now we could leave that on there I mean it kind of I mean it, it looks kind of pretty in a way but I want this to be completely covered with glitter so I'm kind of glad that happened because I want to show you another way that I apply um, glitter to my gel nails so if you can see that area that I missed right there nice little area I'm gonna get A little of this build and when I say go in with a thin layer go in with a thin layer and I'm only gonna brush on the area that I want the glitter to adhere to got a little too much there and you can use build or actually you know you can even use base for this um, as well so all I'm doing is putting a very thin coat of where I want this glitter to adhere to. And I use this method too when I'm doing um, sugar nails. If there's a certain area that I want, um, I only want the glitter to be, 
then I only put the base coat on the area that I want the glitter to be. But with this, I, I put it over the whole thing because it's fine. I'm trying to coat the entire thing. Even though there's plenty of glitter, I thought, oh, you know what? We'll just put a little more. And all I'm doing is getting my little scooper, putting my nail like this, and I'm just tapping it. It's going to stick to everywhere that I put that build. Like I said, you can use base as well. I don't want it on the pink on my um, this area of my nail because I want it to have a nice little and I'm just going to kind of tap it ever so lightly and I've coated that whole nail see pretty 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 now all I'm going to do right now because I'm going to put a little bit more I'm going to go with my glitter brush for this I'm just going to get a little wet with the gel this is gel residue solution and I'm just going to get it in Gently put it in the areas that I I see little spots missing. This typically doesn't happen. I think it was because I was trying to look, make sure I was in camera view here. So I have that completely covered. I'm going to go in and put it in my lamp. Let's cover this little pot up here. And I've done one entire hand well, actually, I still have my thumb to do, but look, this is enough to do my thumb and probably, oh gosh, another, one other nail on my other hand. So I, I, I need to do this hand here. Wipe my little mess off. I have a little glitter mess going on here. So beauties, this is a beautiful way to do your own glitter mixes. Mix colors that complement each other that will just, you know, make the other pop. You can see with these how gorgeous and stunning these look together. At least I think they look so beautiful. And now I'm just going to get my build on this one and you can use build or you can use sculptor and I'm going to go over it one more time because since I miss, missed that glitter but I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and I will be back on once I have these beauties shaped buffed so you can see the final look Okay, beauties, so I'm back. So we have these nails done, and I sculpted out my thumbnail here. I just did it with a clear, and I put a little bit of that glitter line right there on my nail line. Um, I just did it to use the little bit of the last of the glitter mix up that we made. Well, that we made together, <laughs> that we made. All right. So now I'm going to show how I would another way to apply glitter um, when I want it on just a specific area of the nail. So this is clear, and I did a pink at the pink concealer at the on the nail bed area, but I just did this all clear. So I'm going to try to create something. This is without a clear top coat. I haven't done anything with these other than file them and just lightly file them and buff them. So now I'm going to get, you can use any base gel, any base gel that you want. I love when I'm working with gels to have a tile. I always have like a little wipe, you know, um, a little wipe like such, but having a tile is really nice to wipe your brush off with and it's so I mean it's so easy to clean the tile up you can use the gel residue wipe off solution you can use a little swipe I mean you could even use rubbing alcohol but um, I like using gel residue solution or swipe all right so I am going to just put 
a little of this base gel where I want the glitter to adhere to. And since I'm going to do a little kind of a 3D-ish look, I'm going to go ahead and kind of do it at an angle here. You can't go wrong with any glitter design, I mean. So I just kind of wet it at an angle. And before I sprinkle my fine glitters on, I'm gonna use my little glitter brush here. You can use any kind of brush. I like using a little glitter brush to pick my stuff up with. And I just get it just slightly, just a little wet. I use a little gel residue solution, put it on the tile so it, you know, it's just very slightly wet. And I'm going to put my chunkier glitters on first that I want to use. Put a little rose gold. And the reason I like putting my chunkier glitters on first, um, is because I'm going to sprinkle them, I'm going to sprinkle it with my fine glitters. And the fine glitters will adhere to any of the stick that's on here. And just have a little fun with it. Like I said, you can't go wrong with these glitter designs because you can always, you know, add more. And you can continue to do this like layer after layer after layer um, doing the steps that I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so we got the glitter on there. Let's put a little more rose gold. So this is what it looks like right now. And I'm going to get my little spoon here and I'm just going to very, very lightly put a little of this temptation. Like I said, it's this is a pretty bright fine. I don't want it taking over the nail and making it, you know, too much of a, like, look how... I mean, it's a beautiful color, but if I put too much on, it's going to take over. All right, and let's put a little of this diamond dust. You can never go wrong with diamond dust. And I'm just lightly sprinkling it. So that's what we have right now. And I purposely left that little part of clear right there. And let's put a little rock star. I'm just lightly tapping it off. And I'm going to stick this in the lamp for 30 seconds. And like I said, you could do whatever design you want to do. I could have covered the whole nail with it. I'm just trying to show that you can adhere the, if you want the glitter in certain areas, like I said, you just use a little bit of base gel, very, very thin little bit, put it wherever you want it on the nail. And as well, like I said, you can use this, doing the same technique for sugar nails. This, this is the same technique you would use. You could use a no white top gel base coat and a no white top gel top coat, I should say. And you use a little tiny brush um, and line the areas that you want the sugar coat to be. Because once it dries, once it's out of the lamp, like so, such, you dust it off, see? And it's just where I put, it only stuck to the area that I 
put the base coat. So what else could we do here? <laughs> Trying to think of what color would complement this. You know what, let's do a little of this hollow silver here. So I'm going to get just a tiny little bit. I'm just going to brush it where I want it to go. Like so. Get my little brush here, make sure it's cleaned off. And I'm going to pick up some of this silver hollow here. And let's put it on right here. And if you wanted to create more of a 3D effect, you literally would do the steps I'm doing now over and over again. Very thin um, layers that keeps the nail nice and slender because you don't want a bulky nail. Put it on right there and I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the lamp oh, actually you know what before I stick it in the lamp let's put a little mm, let's see a little of the crushed pearl just very lightly you don't want it like I said taking over And this is what it looks like before I put it in the lamp. Now I'm going to stick it in the lamp. So I hope this kind of gave you an idea of how you can make your own gel glitter mix. How you can adhere um, glitter to your gel nails. Um, I will do... A tutorial next week with how I, I mean it's the same technique with acrylic powders um, I myself um, you just get clear acrylic powder the only thing is instead of a tile I get a little container um, any little container or little bowl and um, you know you just get clear acrylic powder I mean you could use pink or any color you want really it just you want to pick a glitter that you know is gonna really look beautiful with the color you're using and same thing you can apply the acrylic mix that you make the glitter mix you make with the brush or you can do the same technique which I if you want to set it the glitters down in a certain area I use base yes on my acrylic if I want if I'm doing a 3d look I will use base on top of my acrylic because I want thin thin layers I don't want it thick and bulky and I'm spending 30 minutes filing off all the bulk I mean look at this I haven't really even I mean I lightly very lightly filed just the sides after I took my forms off I haven't done any filing yet so you can see that it's not going to be hard for me to buff these out they're not thick and it's the same thing with acrylic nails so if you want to use your brush to apply, um, you can. Like I said, I do do it, um, but not if I'm layering them up like this. So there we go, beauties. Well, I'm going to finish up these nails, and I will show you the finished look when I'm all done. Thank you so much for watching.